Area farmers are saying they're a bit befuddled by Congress these days. Instead of hammering out a new farm bill like they're supposed to do every four years, Congress decided to keep the status quo until the end of the current federal budget year. That'll be September 30th. Tonight, Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo takes a closer look at that decision. For Appleton dairy farmer Mark Peterson, planning is an integral part of his business, so it's tough to make a long-term plan when the current farm bill is only set to last another nine months. If you're looking down the road to, to borrow money or expand or do any kind of projects, it, it's kind of nice to know if, uh, if, the farm pro, if, if that safety net is going to continue to be there for us. For now, the safety net is there, at least for some farmers. Congress extended the 2008 farm bill through the end of September 2013. That avoided the so-called dairy cliff, which could have skyrocketed milk prices. Many crop preservation and agribusiness programs were also protected, but not everyone's happy. Some of the concerns that they have are some of the uh, specialty crop programs were, were not extended. Randy Tenpass is the agriculture faculty chair for Fox Valley Technical College. He says those specialty crop programs include businesses like organic farms. Tenpass says there are a lot of concerns like that which need to be met this year because the business is changing all the time. I think the more important aspect will be whether or not Congress will settle in on a five-year farm bill come September of 2013. I think the farming community as well as the taxpayers deserve some results instead of just you know, you know, spinning the wheels not really getting anything done. In Appleton, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. Peterson also says he thinks part of the problem is the complexity of the farm bill, that it goes beyond just the payouts to farmers, but also includes consumer programs like food stamps.